Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plug in tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit the subscribe button because I do these every week. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. And this is Prison 3 Part 1. We're going to talk about mines. Prison 3 is made by Sir Fizdot. Uh, and he makes this all-in-one prison plugin. It is fantastic. It includes, it, it's got two modules right now. I'm not sure if he's going to expand it, but right now it has the two most important ones, mines and ranks. So this week we are going to head up the mines module, which is great because I think there really isn't any out there that are working right now. So first thing you want to do is do prison modules. Make sure that you have both the modules enabled. You can disable these in the config. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. And then it's super simple. All you do is you do mines, wand and now you have this and you're going to left click and right click you know that cuboid like in world edit world guard all that stuff and now you can see that we've selected the first position which is left clicking and second position is right clicking and then that is the area we're going to do mines create tutorial and there we go so now we have a mine but there's nothing in it right now it's all air so we can do mines list to see all the mines in there so we can click on that, get some more information. It gives you the location, the world it's in, spawn point not set, and the blocks in the air. So what we want to do is we want to do mines, block, add tutorial, and we're going to do stone 75%. So we're going to do 75% stone, and now we have 25% air. I love it that it has this running tally. If you go over that air, then there's no room. So then we're going to do add. We're going to do coal ore. This is like a beginning mine, and we're going to do 10%, 15%. We'll do 20%. How about that? Uh, we'll do 15 Now we have 10% air left. So we're going to do iron ore, iron ore, and then we're going to we're gonna leave it at 15, and you're going to see what happens. So mindful, there's the error message we're looking for. We're going to do 10, and now we have it all set. So now that it's all set, we're going to do mines, reset, tutorial, boom. And there's our mine. The next thing that we need to do is set the spawn point. So we're going to come up here and we're going to set the spawn point. So if anybody's inside the mine, when it resets, it automatically moves them out of it. We're going to do set spawn tutorial. Now we can go on down in here and reset and it teleports us out of it. So now if we want to, maybe we want to resize the mine. Maybe we didn't set it to the right area. So we still have our wand selection. So we're going to come up here and we're going to make this a little bit bigger we're going to right click on here and then if we do mines set area tutorial so now that has redefined that mine it, the message is right there and then when we reset it goes on like that so everything else is pretty much in the config we still have permission nodes to set up all the mines you just basically give your your admins uh mines.admin if you want to give them all the options for modifying the mines if you want to kind of split it up let them maybe just reset mines you can give them mines.reset otherwise there's dot create dot set dot block dot delete dot info dot wand dot list in order to get all of that stuff so maybe you want uh, people to be able to look at all the mines and see what's in them you can give them that that list command then they can see all the information for the mines for everything else let's go ahead and take a look at the config okay so here we are in our folders we are running 112.2 so it does work with the latest one we're going to jump into the plugins and you can see it created this prison folder like i said there's two two modules right now for this plugin and we're just looking at the mine so this config basically has overall information like if you want to switch all this over to to be stored at a database all that information is in there your modules is how you enable and disable the two modules that are here and we're going to jump in the module config i'm guessing and then mines and then this config Jason, right click and open with Notepad++. So if you don't have Notepad++, I'd highly recommend it. I'm sure there's a Mac variant of it as well. Now, uh, you could disable reset messages if you don't want them to send out any reset messages. You can enable disable multi-world. Uh, this is probably the coolest one. You can change the fill mode to true, which means rather than resetting the entire mind, just anything that's missing will be reset. And then here's your reset time in seconds. So that's what an hour <clears throat> and then here we go we have our reset time of one hour 30 minutes and then one minute 
All right, that's about it. Like I said, it's pretty quick and easy. Next week, we're going to talk about ranks, so be sure to tune in. Hopefully, you guys found this video helpful and gets you up and running and running your prison search. So this is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Oh, <laughs>